Excited for this one. Mike Leach in the SEC making his presence known right out the gate versus LSU. This is going to be a great video. Fired up. Let's get it started. Welcome to the QB School. So this video is a preview to what's available over for the QB School Patreon community. The full length, every single play, all 22 from this pretty awesome game. And I'm not going to lie, I loved watching this game. Now, I'm not an air raid guru, uh, barely, not even half certified. So go with me there as far as that element of it. But just a fan of football, a fan of aggressive football. This is a must-watch video. And doing the entire game, I had a blast with it. If you get over there, you also get a free bonus this week, which I'm pretty excited to share. But this video is a sample, a couple highlights from some of my favorite plays. But this video could have been 45 minutes of just the highlights. This game was all over the place. Really excited. Let's get it going. So the first one here is a third and 13. And basically, this is mesh with the dagger to me. So again, you see the mesh coming across, see the dagger. This is just a great play by Costello, being able to climb in the pocket, almost of kind of falling down. Ghost hits him, and he falls down as he makes this throw. Pretty cool element here from the pocket. As far as climbing up in the pocket, you'll see the mesh from the wide receivers come right in front of us. There it is. Climb up in the pocket, kind of half falling. Throws it just kind of cool little arm angle. Really nice play. Again, this is a staple across the air raid, really across football nowadays, when I'm talking mesh, and just about everybody runs it. The variation of this thing here is, so the mesh here is these two wide receivers coming across, how they do it, who goes under, who goes over, depending on green grass, being able to run through here. And then we're gonna get a post or a clear, and we're gonna get this in route coming right in here. I think they go middle field close, man free here. Again, and great job being able to come in here Peak this thing right here. He's kind of fallen, 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 getting able to climb in the pocket, make a great throw down the middle. But scheme wise here, really understand important to understand mesh as an air raid concept and how it's kind of bled into all levels of football. Again, then you can see the guy on the left going underneath. Always talking green grass or green turf in the air raid. Keep running, be able to loop up, hook up in zone. Again, they just run mesh so many different variations. Again, here we'll see him climb in the pocket. Again, he's definitely coming from someone who is a little uh, loose with the ball security in the pocket. My man Costello is as well. Nice job being able to drop this thing one-handed down by his hip. Again, he's climbing. Nobody's hitting him. He's just kind of falling here. But again, making this throw kind of half falling. Pretty good. Pretty athletic play. Nice space. Again, they had runaways away from man coverage or brackets all day in this game. Really destroyed that element of the coverage. And I know they were beat up on the back end with LSU. Next one here is kind of an air raid special too. To me, this is a smash and kind of like hitch post. And so I don't have a whole lot of experience with this play. I know they refer to it as sluggo. It's counterintuitive to me. I have no idea what element of sluggo this is other than maybe a kind of a slant late go. I'll draw it up here exactly what it is, but this is a straight up dime. Look where he throws this thing right on the eye. I mean, <laughs> not a lot of room for error right there. An absolute strike. To me, this is a, a variation of what is normally kind of just a smash beater. And when I mean smash beater, I mean we're gonna get two corners and then we're gonna attack the middle of the field. So if you get middle field open, so corner here, corner here, little hitch down here, and this is really what they refer to as a sluggo. To me, this is kind of a hitch post or hitch kind of jerk-ish route. And what I mean by that is normally a jerk for me is you come up here, hitch, and then you run an in route. And it makes the corner look like a jerk. That's why it's called that. But here they run kind of this like hitch. And then instead of coming what I think normally most offenses do in with it, they take it to the post. And you'd say, oh, this is kind of a trick them, get them played. They run it enough where this is part of the deal. This is an air raid special. So again... Looks like smash, and then they run this thing in here. And it's usually paired with what I'm used to calling a Texas route or an angle. And really reading this underneath linebacker. For whatever reason, the back kind of gets inserted in here and never really gets out to his normal read. And this backer, who's at the line of scrimmage here, is able to get enough depth to make this thing a really difficult throw. So now watch it one more time, knowing what the concept is. There it is. There's that sluggo. Again, that's that backer just getting depth. 23, just getting depth, turning and running. Getting to their variation of two here or some variation of match. 
And that's just a straight up strike. I mean, it's just a better throw than coverage. I don't know if you'd want to make this throw very consistently. Boom, hitch. No, there it is. Sluggo, nice step up in the pocket and just an absolute dime. Beautiful throw. And there were a handful of throws like this for Costello. From the back end, I think it's even more impressive. Watch 23 get out of there on our left. He's the guy who's going to make this throw difficult. 2-3, no, he's up. And then, I mean, look when he lets this thing go. He's throwing it right there. Wide receiver's not in the screen yet. Right on the eye. I mean, come on. Well, Rocky Balboa special there. Whew. And third and 10. Now, this is just murder down here at the bottom of the screen. Just an absolute gap release, and they just destroyed LSU's back end, who was undermanned the entire game. But air raid six, uh, three by one, all go special, dancer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, great throw. Nice job being able to control the middle field player. I'm not sure what, again, four. Just going to the middle of the field to go to the middle of the field. Absolute gap session there on the right side, and nice hookup. Still got to be able to throw it, catch it, make those things happen. But again, this is just three by one, four verticals. That's all it is. I think the, you know, they just exposed LSU on the back end here, man free. You would think that this throw would be a little bit more difficult with the middle field player number four over the SEC logo. Now, to me, he, this this all these guys struggled obviously, but when he just turns and gets to, tries to get to the middle of the field and. When the quarterback is looking to the right the entire time, I would say we're underwhelming on the back end defensively here, to put it mildly. Yeah, nice job base-wise from the quarterback. Again, he's that wide open, you just don't want to miss him. Maybe it was just me, but I had no idea LSU had like the ring of stadium seating around there. Obviously, probably because there's people in there all the time. But I mean, that's as wide open as you get. That's, that's recess open. Nice finish. Big time. Just big play after big play after big play. Next one here. This is a variation. Again, another air raid special to me built off what I think is the, their Y cross play, which is a kind of transform across football, across levels similar to mesh. So we'll draw it up another time we watch it here. But this is an absolute dime of a throw. And this is kind of a, a specialty off that cross play. Again, you want to play quarterback in the league? in the SEC or at a high level, check out three running at you right here. Anytime you see a defensive lineman with a single digit, not a good sign. They're probably pretty athletic. Then he's running at you one, two, three, four, five, like five steps of just pure color running right at your face, white jersey. Look when he lets this thing go. I mean, beautiful anticipation and an absolute strike accurate. And man, can I just mention that zero in college football is clean. Zero at any level is clean. You're welcome. So halftime, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new stuff. I appreciate it. In addition, check out the new QB school tool, have fun with it, play calling, figure out what goes against what defense, what your personnel is, all types of fun stuff. And then of course, if you want to watch the entire version of this video, get over to the QB school Patreon community. I appreciate it. Let's keep it going. So what this play is to me, and again, I'm not certified, so this is just me speculating, but this is Y cross, you know, some variation of this can sit up, fine grass, whatever air raid lingo you want to use here. So there it is. This to me, so that's the Y cross element of it. At the end of the day, this is basically two crossers, but how they get there is unique. So this is not the same path as Y cross, of course can't run it both ways so it's only y cross it would never be whatever h cross or slot cross so this to me this path looks more like mesh so it's more like this and that's really important to me because that makes this db nickel star whatever type player come at a down angle as opposed to a, a 45 or getting depth angle so as soon as he comes down this divide route or crossing up whatever you want to call it shoots up so it's really important to get this kind of flat angle to sell this DB to go flat, and then we're going to go right by him. So at the end of the day, it's crosser, crosser. I don't care what you call it, but it's really important this angle, the flatten it out to make that DB go flat. So let's watch it a few times here. First, let's watch that route by the slot up top. Again, it's not a straight cross. It's that little, just that little across motion. Different than the cross down here at the bottom slot, which is the normal air raid, 
Y cross or over. So again, once that slot up top comes down, you see the DB covering the slot up top go flat down the 35, then we got him. Now you still gotta make an absolute dime. You still gotta have enough time to be able to make these types of throws, which take time. But that's an absolute, really cool kind of variation of what I think is a staple play with 95 cross for the air raid. Again, nice job, footwork, can't step into it. Got a guy just barreling down on him, my goodness. I mean, I'll be honest, the Mississippi offensive line did not play great this game. They were He got smacked and they got beat up a handful of times. But this is a great job right here. Dime, accurate down the field, clean jersey number, lots of good things. So the next one, first and 10. This time, they just get out-schemed here a little bit. They're going to run, again, a variation of mesh with a post and a wheel up top. The wheel gets dropped, and we miss a tackle for my man four, struggling on the back end, and that thing is to the house, 75 yards. Thank you very much. That's how you get a 600-day, or that's how you get a great day. Look at the little kids don't care. They just care about a touchdown. Wearing LSU gear. Love it. So scheme-wise here, again, eight's going to run what they call a wheel. Most teams would call a rail or a bullet. Just out the backfield again. Quarterback-wise, Costello, I love. Mike Leach quarterbacks I'll usually keep that left hip open. Able to see to the left. All his cleats in the ground. Again, uh, you know, scheme-wise here, to me, now, they granted, they drop eight in coverage. But just look at how many guys they have free running to the left. They've got three guys free running. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how you want to block it up front. And I'm not going to get into air raid pass pro because then you, you lose your football card. But not that I even have the answers, but I'm just going to guess that's not the sound pass pro that we're looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Again, from the back end here, they get confused. I love this play. They run it a handful of times, just like they run every play a handful of times. But let's talk mesh. So again, here's the mesh element we've already talked about. There it is. Post element. And here's what they call the wheel or rail or bullet, whatever, that gets dropped. So we're going to fake the jet sweep. We've got the mesh element. Check the post for certain looks and get the wheel. There it is. Lots of moving parts. Well, they end up blitzing off the edge here. Linebacker blitzes. This guy blitzes. So they got six. They're bringing six. One of these guys has to peel off and take my man here. Someone just drops their assignment and it happens. Lots of... When you, when you start to get into these types of games with pressure, they just drop them. You still got to be able to see it, throw it, hook it up. And then you obviously got to be able to push a guy out of bounds. But again, from the back end here, you know, I, I think that this game, when you watch the full game, you see how good Costello was about getting the ball out of his hands with three runners coming at his face. Again, an odd front. They were in this walk-up, running twists in games all day. Again, he's, there's no panic. He's not panicking to throw a hot. He's set all his cleats in the ground. Just massive drop and then a bad tackle, and that thing is to the house. And we're on upset alert. Second and 10. This is was one of my favorite plays of the day here, air raid-wise. Just running a shallow from up top. And watch the rub by the slot receiver. Boom! And this is punt return left. These are gifts for quarterbacks. Wide open, shallow routes. <laughs> I don't know about the point at the end, but I do love the finish. Again, just picking on the DBs at LSU. One, four, doesn't matter who it was. Again, come across, and I'll slow it down the next time we watch it, show exactly how they manufactured this pick. But this thing is wide open. You know, this that's park and rec open right there. Whew, finish. Violence on the boundary. Again, so we're going to shift or move across here from three by one to two by two. When we do that, my man Zero is going to see who is covering the number one receiver up top. Now, this is a, a route that everybody in America, everybody across the world that plays high-level football is familiar with running a shallow route. And we've already talked about mesh where there's two of them. But right here, they're going to run their variation of shallow or dry from opposite sides here, and that's what this concept is. But what I love about it, and these are the details, right here, when he shifts across, he is going to get a rub into this corner who has this guy one man to man. So this is the essence of this thing. How does someone get wide open like that? They get picked and this will never get called because the ball is thrown on the opposite side. You see rubs get called like this. If you were to run a flat or something on the same side, same vision, 
but it's almost impossible for this back judge back here to watch this interaction and then he's not responsible for this side of the field. So you'll never really see that. So it looks like almost borderline incidental contact, absolutely not incidental, intentional rub, just an absolute beautiful thing. Boom, there it is. I mean, come on. They're in some sort of seven world bracket. That corner has that wide receiver man to man. He's got a Meg man everywhere he goes. You can see he's late, doesn't know what he's doing. He's not even on the right side of the field when the guy catches the ball. Boom. Oh my gosh. Too good. Missed tackle again. In case you can't count by tens in LSU, you know exactly where you are when you go out of bounds. Again, really nice again. Shift across. We'll see him pop wide open, coming right across the board. And this is just too easy. Whoop. Thank you. And then this finish. How about the point? I don't know about the point here. But I do love this. Boom. Violence on the boundary. Really nice job. Then the last one here, third and nine, last play for Mississippi State. It's just a all go special or six. And people just don't believe you're going to throw to the number one receiver to the field. They just don't believe it, especially in the red area, third and nine, high back five-ish type throw. Again, this is a beautiful throw, but this is air raid through and through. Third and nine, just outside the red area, take your shot. Again, there are guys running at him. I mean, there, there's some, they're running games, they're struggling with it. He doesn't get hit because he gets the ball out so quickly, but there are technique issues here for sure. But again, as far as just like, Air raid through and through. We're going to run play six, throw a touchdown. Everybody who knows football knows all go, and it doesn't matter what you call it here. He really could have thrown it to the number two, but the number one here is the one that gets it. And so what I mean by that is people, when you're in three by one like this to the field, meaning the wide side, people don't believe that you will throw this. Corners don't believe it. Nobody believes it. So we'll watch the technique here with this corner, but you got this free release and it's one-on-one -on -one all day, especially when you're in any sort of what I'm going to call seven or brackets world. Now, I'm also going to say that they didn't play it correctly here, but this is definitely some variation of brackets. I personally think that they're not doing it correctly here with both these guys inside. Normally you wouldn't do this variation of it, but let's watch the corner up top just technique wise first before we do anything else and just blow by again, flat footed, they just don't think you're going to do it. You can tell all those underneath guys have those guys vertically. They're running with those guys vertically in some sort of man match coverage. But look how much space is on the number two slot too. He could rip that thing right there. And again, I can't tell you who the safety up top has vertically. It looks like he's trying to play between three and two. So that corner is one-on-one -on -one by himself. And that's just not the technique you use. I'm, I'm telling there there is no technique like that. But you still have to be able to catch and throw a go route to the field within, what is it, 35 yards up and down in the corner. Great vision, better throw, just an absolutely outstanding exclamation point on a 600 plus day. So one more time, look at the corner up top, just run by, boop, thank you very much. Third and nine, so many of these plays, you know, five of these clips came on third down. So just a really nice job being able to take advantage of being aggressive, of taking what the defense gives you and making these throws down the field so good on so many different levels. This game was an absolute blast to break down. The highlights were fun. 600 plus day, obviously pretty cool. Air Raid special, Mike Leach in the SEC. Really cool. Uh, I'm excited to share the entire video. So if you want to see that, hop over to the QB School Patreon community. I appreciate it. Have a good one.